So there I was, stuck at home in the middle of a global pandemic, binging shitty movie after shitty movie on Netflix. Every movie seeped into the next and time became irrelevant. One night, when I was watching Adam Sandler's Hubie Halloween for the second time, I thought to myself, I could do that. I began my training by watching more Adam Sandler movies. This is not working. I decided if there's any way I would get into filmmaking, it would be to seek someone who's already in the industry. Sir, are you a filmmaker? It took some time, but after hours of searching and just asking the teacher, I find a filmmaker from Montreal. Great. I contact him about the interview, he says yes, and we set up a date to meet up on Zoom. Jesse Noah Klein is a filmmaker and teacher from Montreal. He has since released three short films, one of them being We're Still Together, released in 2016, which has been nominated for Best Film and won Narrative Feature in 2016 at the New Hampshire Film Festival. Do you think like Montreal is a good place for filmmaking? Mm -hmm. It's wherever you're from is where you should start making films. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, the grant system in Canada, I just know it better, like in the United States. There's no system in place, so it's kind of like this, you know, free for all okay. capitalist uh, yeah. atmosphere. Whereas in Canada, you can kind of, you know, hone your craft and work your way up. And you know, not everyone gets grants, but there is a grant system in place to support artists, which I think is great. So yeah, I don't find them like in a way that comparable. I, I love making films here, and mm -hmm. I mean, there's not a huge. English uh, filmmaking community here, but you know, I'm really proud of being part of the Quebec cinema environment more broadly. And yeah, I think that there, I mean, there's just, there's a plethora of really talented filmmakers. Montreal is also really good for location scouting because of its diverse range of architecture. Parts of old Montreal can look like Europe and parts of old port in downtown can look like New York. In fact, John Wick 2's opening scene was filmed partially in downtown and would cut back and forth with scenes from Montreal and New York. Yeah, I actually noticed, I, I did watch uh, We're Still Together. Do you, do you consider like that movie successful to you? For such a small film that I made outside of the system, yeah, sure. I mean, I, I was really happy that people responded to it. Like when you're making a film when you're young, that's that small. Like I would say there was literally no expectations. Mm -hmm. like, like it could do literally nothing, completing it as its own success. So the fact that it, yeah, it played it around 20 festivals and got a good reception and people liked it when we screened it and the reviews were relatively strong. Yeah, it's good. I guess like the, the broader question would be like, what's your definition of success? Do you think you reached it? Do you, do you have like an idea where you want to go? Like, I always challenge myself. So, you know, I want my next project to always be stronger than the one before it. You know, this is the kind of thing that like, you know, your parents say to you is like, all you can do is your best. Like you can't be a better filmmaker than you are. All you can do is, you know, be rigorous and, you know, try like do the work, which is, you know, it takes I've, like the current script I've been working on. I mean, I've been working on it for years and it's just, you know, that's just the nature of how long it takes. Um, so yeah, I, I, I would define it as, you know, doing work that you can stand by. I go outside to get some gentle air. He's right, what's the point of putting the effort into a career path that you're not even passionate about? Especially one that doesn't even have a strong foundation. All that to become a talentless filmmaker? Is it worth it? Would you think that um, focusing solely on filmmaking is a, is, is a good enough way to make a paycheck? I would be hard pressed if I could name you one person in Canada who's solely a filmmaker. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know? Like, some of the greatest living filmmakers are also teachers, and many filmmakers also, for example, shoot commercials or shoot music videos, although at least at a smaller level, there's absolutely no money in music videos whatsoever. This is something people do with their friends. You know, I definitely have friends who shoot commercials, and you make a great living doing that, and that's a totally, you know, legitimate, viable, great way to, to go. That's just not the path that I, that I took. You graduated from Concordia, right? For, in communications and film? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You think there's like another way to get into filmmaking or anything without school? There's no one way to do it. I certainly, as, an, as a teacher, I advocate for and suggest to my students to pursue an undergraduate education. I do think that's a good idea. I think there's value to film school. I would never A, go to one or B, teach at one, although we're not strictly a film school. Yeah, I think there's a ton of value in it. I don't think it's the only way of doing it. I think it works for some people, it doesn't work for others. 
Mm -hmm. I think that one of the big values of film school is that it gives young people room. And if you're not in school, I don't necessarily think that you have that room, that psychological and emotional space in your life to feel like you can create. Whereas school does give you this bubble, you know, uh, for X amount of time. And I, I think it's really valuable for young people. Like I said, I'm pro film school for sure. I just don't, I recognize it's not for everyone, but I do think an undergraduate education is for everyone. And so I, that's what I say to my students. Um, I didn't go to film school until I went to graduate school. Like mm -hmm. communication studies is a little different. And a lot of my classes had nothing to do with film at all. And then it was after I completed that, that I decided to pursue filmmaking more rigorously and teaching. So I went to the University of Texas at Austin. After the interview, I realized that filmmaking is the type of career you're getting into because you're passionate about it. Success is not based off how much money you make. It's you who decides what success means to you. And thanks to Noah for doing this interview with me. He answered all my questions. He was really nice. Uh, and I recommend his movie, We're Still Together. Uh, it's really well made. Maybe I'll just go into marketing. <laughs>